Hi, in this demo we will walk through the steps required to download and run our demo chat application for Android. Let's start by visiting our developer wiki page that is shepherds.github.io forward slash app warp developer. Now click on the Android icon. This will take you to our Android developer homepage which contains lots of useful information for developers using app warp on Android. You first need to create an account with Shepherds and create an application of type app warp. All the required steps for doing that are described in this page. Here. So this page will guide you through registration, signing in, creating an app and then adding rooms. I'm going to sign in to my account which I've already created and add a new chat room to my app warp demo application. Now I'll enter my username and password. And click on login. Now this is the Shepherds App 42 developer console called AppHQ. Let's click on the App Warp tab on the left, then add a room. Now select the application you want to add the room to. I'm going to select my demo application. Now you can see that my application already has four rooms. You can also see that the properties associated with them. It simply shows in JSON with keys as topic and value as category. Now I'm going to add a new room and add a property for the topic with value books. Click on submit and there it is. Now I have a new room. And my application has five rooms, one for each different topic using the key value properties. These are the rooms that will be available in our Android application as we'll see. Now let's go back and download the application from our GitHub repository. Now we can download the contents of this repository as a zip file onto our system. Now once this is done, I will go ahead and unzip the contents and place them in a separate folder on my desktop. We will now import the Android demo project into Eclipse. Click on import and navigate to the location of the matchmaking demo folder that we just unzipped onto our desktop and click on import. Once our project is imported and set up, we are ready to run. However, before that we need to edit the constants.java file and put our API key and secret key where indicated. Let's see how to do that. Now I have already saved my keys on a file which I had noted down from AppHQ on my desktop. 
I will now copy paste the values from there into my constants.java file in Eclipse. Now we are ready to run. I will run this on my emulator to easily show the demo in this video, but you can run on your Android device as well. On the first screen you will be prompted to enter your username. Enter your name and click on connect. Next you will be asked to select a chat room category. Let's pick the sports and join with matchmaking. Encode this results in a single matchmaking API call in which we specify the key as topic and value as ports and send the request to AppWorks server asking to join such a room if found. You can see now the room ID is the same as the one we saw for the sports category in AppHQ earlier. Now uh, let's go back and try without matchmaking to see what difference that makes in terms of speed and number of API calls required. This illustrates the API calls that were required. It first fetches a list of all the rooms, then iterates over the room info for each till it finds a room with the desired property and then finally sends another join request. You can see how easy it was earlier with the matchmaking request we showed in terms of time and managing the sequence of requests. Now let's run this application on two emulators to see the real time chat in action. Just do the same steps we did earlier and launch the application on the second emulator. Let's enter the name as test user and join the same room from both the clients. Once joined, click on the chat button. We also show a post notification indicating the number of online users and show a drop down at the top with the names of all the participants. We can now exchange some chat messages and see how they are transmitted to everyone in the room in real time. That's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching and send us a mail at support at shepherds.com if you have further queries.